All right, starting our day off again at the Fuji booth. We do have a point blank rod set up, but y'all are not gonna see this video probably until after the show is over. But if you are at the show for day three, we do have some point blank blanks. I do have one of my rods that I actually hand built, so come by, check it out. We're gonna do a little bit more exploring today. We're gonna walk around the uh, showroom, see a bunch of people that I'm not associated with, just kind of look at all the new, new stuff, the cool stuff, and hopefully show it to y'all, because everything I find interesting, y'all typically find interesting. So that's the plan for today. Go do a little bit more exploring with companies I don't already have relationships with, not try to get sponsors, just try to see what's all the new cool stuff. So it's a cool place to be. Ready? Who's kicking this off? You go. You can right. say, say Kyle Welcher and I'll say Caleb Summerall. All right. All right. So you're going to be like, hi, I'm Kyle Welcher and hey, I'm Caleb Summerall. Yeah. You want to do it like that? <laughs> we're going to do it like that. You want to do it like that? <laughs> we're going to be like Talladega Nights right here. No doubt. And if you don't like prune candy, you Shake can... Shake and bake. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. What's going on? Kyle Welcher here in the missile booth. Caleb Summerall. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna, gonna take a couple takes. It's gonna take a couple takes. Alright. Alright. What's going on? Kyle Welcher here. Got my good buddy with me. Caleb Summerall. Yep. So today we're gonna talk about one of the baits that kind of came out last year. It's not new for iCast, but iCast was kind of weird last year. So we're gonna show y'all the missile baits quiver. Something weird for me, I've always been kind of a power fisherman, but I've caught a lot of fish this year flipping around a four and a half inch worm. I actually top 10 the Sabine River flipping around this thing. And I think both of us have caught a lot of fish on this on this worm this yep. year. Two great sizes, 6.5 and the 4.5. Get that good spade tail. I personally like to rig it Nico style. Yep. Put a little weight at the bottom. A little Gamagatsu G Finesse Stinger hook right there. Let that joker bounce on the bottom. It's a fish catcher. Be sure to check them out. All right, here's one of the coolest new products that I'm the most excited about from Dakota Lithium. This is actually a cranking battery. It only weighs 16 pounds. So right now I have a size 31 AGM that weighs like 75 or 80 pounds. So this right here has just as much power. It's gonna crank the engine and run all five graphs all day for 16 pounds. Whereas I'm gonna get to be able to get 60 pounds out of my boat and have more power. So brand new cranking battery. It's gonna be awesome. It makes it worse. I'm not like this guy quiet all the time and then the camera comes out. We ready? Um, my name is Billy Vavona. I have a book called Decorative Wraps. It deals with putting uh, thread on the rod for some artwork. As you can see here, I'm doing Florida Gators themed build at the show. I just met Kyle and his wife Hunter. Great people. Um, she's helping me get the word out on the art of custom rod building. So where can we find you? Um, the Nerbs, T-H-E underscore N-E-R-B-S on Instagram and on Facebook. So if you want to see the difference in my rod wraps, so I'll, everybody watch my YouTube know I'll be able to rod and stuff. That's my rod wraps. One color, as little as it could possibly get, the least amount of epoxy. This is what a real rod wrap is supposed to look like. Pretty good. Got my so anybody that's going to be here day three of iCast, there, Fuji has some new thread colors over here, so if you want to come try out, we've been giving out a couple samples of the thread colors. So day three of iCast, Probably won't be many left. Better come get some. Strikers coming out with some cool stuff. That's all. We got cool a lot weather of, gear. We do. We got a lot of new cool stuff coming. We got new UPF uh, cool wave clothing coming for next year. We got ladies stuff, which I know Hunter's gonna like. Uh, two new colorways in the adrenaline rain suit, which I think we're gonna put Kyle in kind of that transition traditional camel looking one. Seems like that's kind of your brand. Yeah, everybody thing. everybody loves that. Everybody loves the adrenaline suit. That's the striker suit that I wear right now. It's got the red striker on the back. The one that's in that digital camo kind of pattern called the tra the transitional camo. Transition. So yeah. striker doesn't have a booth. Untame also doesn't have a booth. But both the companies have a lot of cool stuff coming out, and I will show them to y'all on the YouTube channel well, whenever we finally get them. We don't need a booth. Like I think it was just easier for me to follow you around all day. <laughs> Way easier. If you had a booth, I gotta come there. Fair. If you don't have a booth, you can just go follow me where I'm at. Right. All right. So y'all know on the Bassmaster Elites, I fish uh, pretty much only the Sunline Shooter. Here's another cool product. This thing is actually colored. Every six inches, it changes colors. So at all times, you can tell exactly, you know, like how deep your lure is, or you can tell exactly where every single water column change is. So pretty cool new deal with some colored lines from Sunline. They've been coming out this kind of stuff for a while, and I've just now started experimenting with it. All right, so Hunter had to come back to the Spro booth and give the little tiny baby Poppin' Frog 40 a little bit of love. This thing is extremely small. I actually had one of these and caught a couple fish on it in the Neely Henry Elite event. So I've already caught a fish or two on this, but this thing is, what, how big is the normal, the baby problem, probably 50? Yeah, the baby's 50. The baby's 50, so this is 10 millimeters shorter 
than, than the baby pop frog we have now. So this thing is a tiny little bitty snack. It's, it's mostly going to imitate like bugs and stuff like that on the top of the water. And here's something a little bit new, a little bit different. This is a the standard original Spro, Spro Bronze Eye Frog. It's the one that came out first and we put a couple of blades on the tail just give a little more action and look a little bit different in the water so uh, everybody's throwing a frog now lakes are you know getting pounded by frog fishermen and a little bit of a different profile might get you a few extra bites in the summertime all right what's going on kyle Wilcher here we're at icast 2021 we're in the spro booth here's something that's pretty cool new from spro you know the the frog craze has been going absolutely crazy for like eight or ten years now and it's always been the spro frog and they just came out with something that's a little bit more of a versatile type of a deal just to make you a little bit more efficient on the water so you're fishing a lot of like sparse grass or long grass edges where you're trying to you know cover a lot of water a little bit more fast and you're not trying to like you know impart your own action on like a normal spro frog They've got one that's called the Spro Flapping Frog. The, the thing that's different about this frog and the other frogs that are the same style, you can pause this on top of water and it's going to float. And also it's made out of a, a more durable plastic. So as long as you keep it away from pipes, you're going to be able to keep it for a while. So this is the new Flapping Frog from Spro. All right, what's going on? Kyle Wilcher here. ICAST 2021. We're at the Spro booth. Got a cool new product. This is actually the first time I've seen this, so I haven't had any experience fishing with it. But this is the Spro Cyclone. Cyclone. This, this actually has a prop on the back and it rides in the water a little bit like this. And from what I've been told, it like hops through the water, pushes a lot of water, and has a prop on the back that's gonna spin. This this is a really cool bait though. Haven't seen anything like this on the market. It looks like we're in a time machine. This is something from you know 20 or 25 years ago, but it's a really cool bait. I can't wait to catch a couple on it. This is rechargeable, a robotic lure. So as soon as it hits water, it starts swimming. It starts mimicking a real fish. It is designed to pause. <laughs> and then we have our salt water. This is a little too powerful for this tank, but I'll show you. Take the charge. So to charge them about 45 minutes to an hour and then if they get about 45 minutes to an hour of swim time as well. The, the bass boat light pole has been exactly the same for like 25 years. I've actually never seen a unique light pole in my life. I actually thought whenever LEDs came out and that they were the, the like bright blue light, that was like the biggest innovation in light poles. But check this thing out. Like this is the light pole that goes on the back of your boat. It glows all the way up it, but you can turn all these lower ones off and just leave the top ones on to have more of a traditional look. But that's a pretty cool product for the back of your boat. So probably gonna have that next year. What's going on? Kyle Wilcher here at ICAST. Today we're at the Fuji booth. You know, I'm sitting here. If y'all have not followed my YouTube channel or whatever, I have been building my own rods for the past two years in the Elite Series. So I'm sitting here putting the rod that I built in everybody's hand that'll listen. And Fuji's known for having some of the most efficient rod components. But there's a couple of little cool things that came out from Fuji where they're trying to diversify a little bit. One thing that, you know, some of the older fishermen are gonna really like is this is a line threader. You run your line through this and actually thread it up your guides. So it makes it a lot easier to, to thread your guides if your eyesight's going a little bit. I don't really need that yet, but I might in a couple years. Another cool thing, a new Japanese technique called the free rig. They've got a bait that this actually goes on your line and you hook it to a weight. And then the weight, instead of like a Carolina rig, the, the weight actually runs up and down the line. So if you're in current, you can just free spool it and let your bait get away from the, get actually away from your weight. So some cool new products from Fuji. And if you're here, come step by the booth. I'll put my rod in your hand and you'd be blown away by how light it is. We've been riding around ICAST, seeing all the new stuff, talking to everybody, hanging out. Well, we ain't riding. We were walking around ICAST, seeing all the new stuff, checking things out. This is what it is. This is behind the scenes of ICAST. So if you enjoyed that, leave a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button. Now it's time to go home and put some of these new lures to the test. All right. Thanks, man. No problem. No problem. Like that. Y'all don't ever play them in poker now. Really <laughs> Check out who I found, Joe Machesi. He was telling me about the Ufala trip. 